before anybody gets excited, no, we are not stalling our amplifier project. I just wanted to do a little preview of what one of our next series is going to be, just to keep people hooked into the channel. And if this total from scratch DIY stuff is a little over your head, we're going to do something that, while it isn't a kit, it is a lot of components that I've put together that you could source off eBay or some of these China auction sites and build one for yourself. And it's going to be a preamp. I've had a lot of people asking me about, you know, building some sort of a preamp. And so, while I don't really need one right now for my amplifiers, I'm interested in trying one out. And so, here we go. Got this case from eBay that is extruded aluminum and it's going to work perfect with this 412AX7 circuit board that I got. This is a Conrad Johnson clone. It's made by Zero Zone. I know that they sell this preamp pre-built for $250-ish with the typical China components that claim to be Nikikons and stuff, but probably aren't. I don't want to say anything negative about those companies, but in my experience, a lot of those are fake components. And so I wanted to build one using known quality made in Japan or USA parts with some Mundorf coupling caps and really see what this thing sounds like. Probably going to be using some uh, 7025 low noise tubes. I really like the layout of this board. It uses these heat sinks that sit in these holes and make a line up here across between the power supply and the actual preamp. And I haven't decided exactly on the layout. The same people that sell this board had this listed which is a power transformer for it that has all of the right voltages coming off of the leads to power this thing up, I'm assuming correctly. It's got a nice uh, shielded copper sheet over the windings that should help reduce the noise. I think all this is going to fit inside this little case I found. The top cover, it sits on it like this. It's got some vent holes at the top for the, the tubes to breathe. And I think it's going to look really, I mean, it's going to look like a kind of professional product when I'm done with it. The front of it looks like this. And it comes with a knob. It's got a little um, volume mark on it. And then it came with this kind of, I'm sure this I can make this look nice. It came with this. Let me move this stuff so you can see the switch better. It's kind of a cheesy looking switch. And if you bolt it on there, it sticks way through like there, which I think looks terrible. And so I found some spacers where I can make it where it only sticks through about like that. And then when you engage it, you know, it'll, it'll sit more flush. And then it comes with a little board to put an LED behind it. And it should be able to glow around it and make give it the little angel eye effect. So we're going to play with that. The, the back cover came pre-drilled for RCAs and the input RCA. And a place for the power socket, which as you saw in the last build is one of the hardest things to, to fabricate. And then these just screw onto each end like this with a top on it and it's going to make a nice preamp. One of the things that I do want to experiment with this preamp too, because I was thinking, you know, I don't really need all of these RCA jacks. And then I thought maybe I should make a preamp that has a sub out and that has a, um, a high pass filter for the tube amp. And then another filter that sends only the base to the sub 
from the output of the preamp after it comes in here on the input. So it might be a way of me using a sub with my tube amp setup. I haven't ever tried a sub with it, so that might be fun. Again, this is just kind of a preview. I've got all the passives here, except for the capacitors, and they're on the way. I still have to order the tube sockets. And like I said, I found some nice heat sinks, and I've measured everything. This should all fit inside this case. I've still got to figure out the layout, and we will do that in the series with you as we try to figure out the best way to lay all this stuff out. Oh, and the other thing is we have someone who is sending me a, another preamp that they want me to um, look at and modify and see what I can do to improve it. And then we'll have a shootout between the two of them. So I think we're going to have some fun with these preamps, and that should be coming up here fairly shortly. I still am interested in doing the you know, 1930s tube amplifier, but we may do this preamp next so we don't you know, bog everybody down with these totally from scratch builds that may be outside of people's comfort zones and maybe try to do some of these you know, easier to build projects that use printed circuit boards and stuff and feel, people feel more comfortable doing or relatable to. So anyway... Hope you're enjoying my channel. Hope you're looking forward to seeing this preamp shootout. If you are, please subscribe. It helps me propagate my videos across the YouTube universe. Like the video. And I'll see you soon as we jump into doing preamp fun. Have a great day.